509 right now, and we're asking where's the money as the age of free returns could be fading away. The holiday shopping season just days away from kicking off into full gear, but soon many customers could see a charge for returning some of their purchases. So get this, many retailers are tired of paying extra fees for processing and shipping return packages, so they are handing the bill to customers. Returns peaked during the pandemic when most people were utilizing online shopping. The return rate jumped 6%, costing companies more than $800 billion. Now more than 40% of retailers are charging return fees to make up for the hefty price tag. A few of these companies include H&M, J.Crew, Zara, and even Amazon. So if you try to return your Amazon purchase at a UPS store, you might have to pay. Amazon says the $1 fee is only charged if there's a free return option closer to delivery address. The new fee comes a year after Amazon started charging for returns using using U, uh, UPS pickup. So if you want to skip the extra charge for any returns, experts suggest looking into loyalty programs that offer customer discounted sales and returns. So this morning we want to know, would you cut down on online shopping if you had to pay a return free uh, fee? Text us 704-329-3600. One I, of the reasons I really like Amazon. I, I do think people ourselves included are way too liberal in the amount of things we order mm -hmm. knowing that we can return yeah them yeah because like, you're you like know, let me try on these different oh, sizes i'll order five of them then i'll return for them and yeah that's not a good business model for yeah. a, an amazon yeah. just be more cautious in your purchases right maybe, you're gonna have to be or try it on in a store just that's wait till last minute like me and then you don't have to worry about it you just even you, even better you take it back in there you go there you go <laughs>